Am I gonna swim as fast as you now? I got no idea, they just told me to come in. Out there. Area 33, in service. <laughs> Athletes are creatures of habit. We have our processes that we like to do at set times on race day. To leave your hotel room and discover that your bike is leaking brake fluid everywhere is just the worst possible thing that can happen at the, that moment. And to then maintain your calm while others rush around, find you a bike to use, grab Georgia Taylor Brown's bike, a bike that you've never ridden, is not set up for you. He didn't change any of the setup. Everything on that bike could have been different to what Vasco is used to riding. I was 11th, if I'm not wrong. That was quite hard to take because, well, this year I kind of like gone all in. When you do all that and then something goes that wrong, you kind of, you know, start thinking, is it really worth it, you know, like to put your heart into it that much. I'm still like shaking, like when, I, when we went to the hospital afterwards, I was like, oh, I'm all good now. And then I started like to write like, you know, my name and like all the information for the hospital. And I just like, oh, I can't really write. Like my hands like, like still shaking. I was unlucky enough to swim towards the side where there was a seal hanging around. When I saw it, I kind of didn't know what to do. And it started swimming towards me. Like in the water, you're really not in control. Like, because if I let it go, it's like it's still gonna catch up with me if it wants. It's not like I can just swim away from it. So I was like, get to somewhere when I can stand on the sand and just run away as fast as I can. I was just thinking, what like what should I do? For me, the most scary is not knowing where the seal is. So that was kind of like, at all times, keep your eyes on the seal. And all, like when I got a grab of it, I was like, okay, I'm not letting go now because now now I have it. At a certain point, there was like a wave like kind of a strong wave that pushed it against me and I like a bit aggressively pushed it away then because it was like then it was really on me and then it got scared and bit my arm. I didn't have the thought of dying, I had more the thought of surviving in my head I think. The way I was feeling, I was more like, maybe I should not race. He's learned how to deal with the fast, the furious, the chaos, the adversity, all of that. Being very calm is something that has helped me a lot. And in my mind was more like, whatever I do is better than not doing it. Go the last one on the front. He doesn't, does he ever go anywhere else, Vasco? He just hates to sit into a group. He just loves to push the pace, take his own lines. He's just a great athlete to have around you if you're in the pursuit of anybody. He just loves to do the work. He's a man who, on on the track or not, things happen to him or he makes things happen. He's always all in, full send. Vasco can do it, but it's very hard. Hayden Wild is your champion, Malibu. Shachar Sagib comes second, and Vasco Velasa third. So I'm not like the up and coming, I'd say I'm, I'm more kind of like settling up there between you know, the best athletes. As a developing athlete, you're always looking at the ones at the top. They are the people that you want to be racing with, head to head with the athletes you want to be beating. You know if you can beat the athletes at the top on any given day that you're going to become a top athlete. And that is what every young developing athlete wants. I'd say after like the last couple of years, I definitely feel 
I'm not like going after the others, I'm there to control and do my own race. And of course, like the focus changes a little. Now, of course, I get a podium, I'm happy with a good race, but you still, you still want more, you know? Like until you get that first place, you, there's still more to get. I just think we're going to see him get better and better and with that confidence that he's now got, that he can beat some of these superstars of triathlon, I think we're going to see young Vasco do some pretty special things.